day four of our trip to St. Martin. We started off our day by eating breakfast at the hotel. I had a ham and egg cheese sandwich. While I was eating my breakfast, I admired the scenery and the bird next to me eating crumbs. Also, every morning they clean up the seaweed that washes up overnight on the private beach at our hotel. As I mentioned before, we are on Oyster Bay Beach. After breakfast, we drove around the area because my boyfriend has a drone that he wanted to play around with. He got some pretty amazing shots. I'll show one of them, but I will do a compilation of them as well later. Here's a sample from one of the videos he made from his drone. There were so many really beautiful shots and videos that he took, which I will make a video on separately. This area is not too far from Oyster Bay Beach Resort. Very beautiful here and not a lot of people, but you can't really swim here, FYI. It's very rocky. I also decided to get some pictures while he drove around as well. Some very beautiful viewpoints. After that, we went back to the hotel for a few more hours to swim in the pool. They have a really nice infinity pool here. We plan to do the Flying Dutchman zipline, but as we're waiting, we're just swimming around and taking photos. The park finally opens at noon, the first part of the park we're allowed to go around into this house. The package we bought included this mini museum where we can learn about some history of the Americas and St. Martin. It doesn't take too long, it's just one big room. The artifacts are pretty cool though. After we leave, there's a lift for us to go up towards the Flying Dutchman. I'm not gonna lie, this lift is very, very high, and it was kind of scary, I'll be honest. I'm pretty scared of heights, but I'm actually able to do zip lining, so I thought I could probably handle the Flying Dutchman. But I'm also really scared of heights, so part of me had no idea what to expect. For your information, the Flying Dutchman is the highest and steepest zip line in the world. I've done plenty of zip lines, but this one is extremely long and super high. But you know what? I don't know when the next time I'm going to St. Martin is, so that made me think that it was worth it to do the Flying Dutchman. So we went on our way. The video I got here is on our way up. We did not get there yet. It's a really long way up. I actually made this video also because I wanted to know how long it takes to get down there, and it feels kind of long. Meanwhile, I also decided to get some beautiful pictures of the viewpoint. Before you go up, there's also a bar where you can get some liquid courage, but I don't drink, so there's no options for me. While I was up there, I was really terrified, so I made another video of other people going to try to reassure myself. I'll be honest, I don't think anything can prepare you, but then again, I didn't drink any alcohol. In my opinion, there's no real way to prepare. That's just my opinion, though. It's not that fast, right? Close your eyes okay. Okay, 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 okay. So once you open it, we can't go back. Okay. Close your eyes I'm closing it. Okay. Okay. Here we go. I want to do this. Here we go. Okay. All right. Feet up, feet up. Feet up, To be honest, the first five seconds were scary, but then I stopped screaming, opened my eyes, and it was no longer scary. I personally think if you've ever gone zip lining before, you can definitely handle it. It's really not as bad as I thought it was, surprisingly. My first five seconds were terrifying, but I got over it really fast, and I really enjoyed this experience. But really, there's no trick, you just have to do it, and I recommend this, do it! And after ziplining, we decided to go to Orient Bay. 
We had a nice time swimming and then we ate some food on the beach. It was nice and relaxing. Orient Bay is on the French side, so actually I did go topless at this beach. And there's also a nude beach that we decided to try as well. It's required to be naked at this beach, so no photos of people, that's rude. We went beach hopping after that and my boyfriend even found a pond area. Got, got it, got it. I got that one. Uh. Oh, so cool. Oh, wow. Uh oh. oh. And then after that, we decided to go to Dutch Blonde, which is actually in the Dutch area. The food is really good, and I feel like it's a pretty affordable place where you can eat and take photos. Anyways, that's the end of day four. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching!